Hey guys, welcome back to Rosa Forever. I'm Kyle, and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I was asked to speak at a nursing home recently, and so we're going to be talking about how to develop a relationship with God. Um, these are practical tips for new believers or individuals who are just looking to strengthen their own relationship with God. So we're gonna jump right into it with my first tip, communicating with God through prayer. Sorry, which on the spot, but um, it's like how would you say like probably communicate with God? You know, pray, prepare, prayer. Anybody else have prayer? We just communicated when we're singing to Him. Reading the Bible, singing. So things like that, right? Anybody else? Reading the Bible, worship, read the Bible. The love. Love. I hear you. I hear you. So there's different ways that you communicate with God. I was going to specifically talk about prayer but at the same time everyone has the way or the way that they communicate with God and the way God communicates with you but we also have to keep in mind it's a two-way process you know we communicate with God through songs worship prayer all those different things but we also have to keep in mind that God is speaking to us not just through words but also through other people still small voice we have to keep our ears and eyes open, open yeah. because God may be trying to share something with you that he wants you to internalize and live out in your life, not just for you, but for others around you, right? Amen. So just keeping those things in mind. Um, the second thing would be to spend quality time with God. Now, you can also do that through prayer, but in any relationship, if you don't make time for that relationship, what's going to happen? It won't work. Exactly. The relationship is going to eventually die because time is the fuel that builds all relationships. Amen. Especially when it's in, and now, now here's the big thing. It has to be intention. It can't just be a, oh, every now and then thing. Oh, I'm going to go talk to God for a day and then pass for three months. What if someone you love talked to you and then just didn't communicate for who knows how long, didn't talk to you at all? You know, that would be, you know, that wouldn't be a good deal. So you want to make sure that you are intentional about spending time with God on a regular basis. Amen. Now, how can we do that? We can, again, talk about prayer, just spending time in prayer, just by ourselves, just talking to God, just giving thanks. Because every day we wake up is a reason to be thankful. Because again, Amen. we just talk about how every day is a gift. Mm -hmm. So we want to continue to do that. Um, another way is, you know, setting aside time specifically for those purposes. Because let's be honest, in life, there are a lot of things that are going to come at us. All, all types of problems, all types of responsibilities. There's so much going on that if you don't intend to take time to, you know, take time to spend with God, that, that eventually won't happen. All these things are going to eat up all your time. So setting aside that time to say, Lord, this time is for you. I want you to dwell in me. I want you to be with me. So just really make sure you keep that in mind. Um, and the third thing I wanted to mention is um, share his goodness. You know, you want to, you know, we want to share that goodness with other people because it does two things. One, it reminds you of how good God is. Amen. You know, we can have a lot of information, but if we don't bring it back out of us, sometimes it just is going. So you want to share his goodness that you yourself are reminded of how good God has been to you. And another thing that it does is it, it actually encourages other people. Because a lot of times you may be the only Jesus that people see. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. You may be the only Jesus that people see. So you want to always be filled. You want to be filled with God's word. You want to be filled with the love that God has for you. And again, always having that circulating in your mind so that when you talk to people, what's coming up? The love. Jesus, Jesus right. the love. All the things that God has done for you. And just to kind of jump back to the quality time aspect, I wanted to um, recite a verse, James 4, 8, that really helped me when I first started developing my relationship with God. It talks about draw closer to God and he will draw closer to you. You have to remember that God wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants to have that. So it's not like you may go to God and he'll say, no, nah, I don't want to talk to you. That's not, that's, not the, that's not the God that we serve. We serve a God who loves us and that died on the cross for us. So whenever we have an opportunity to share, like to spend time with God, God's listening. His ears are always open. He's just, and he's communicating with us. He's just waiting for us to communicate with him as well. So guys, 
Which of these tips do you plan to implement to help you develop your relationship with God? Let us know in the comment section below. Um, and as always, if this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and give it a thumbs up all the way up to let us know to continue making awesome content just like this. And before you go, I want to remind you that you are only one prayer away. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.